גם מ-HT, גם מ-HT Club of Parliament and my economist friends and not to forget the third step I was saying to my economist friends before we started that I hope they make this the first of our many big wins and I'm sure they will lead to that challenge This is the signing ceremony of Poulon that a grant from the Chinese government for a new parliament building and a loan that will finance various projects. Yes, please. Honorable Mr. Chinamasa, Minister of Finance and Economic Planning. Honorable Major General Sepusiru Moyo, Minister of Foreign Affairs and the International Trade. Honorable July Moyo, Minister of Local Government, Public Works and uh, National Housing. Honorable Professor Morera, Minister of Higher Education, Science and uh, Technology Department, uh, Development. Honorable uh, Therese Mkopi, Deputy Minister of Finance and Economic uh, Development. Uh, uh, Ambassador, uh, Senior Government Officials, uh, friends from the media, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Mungwanani. Uh, it is my uh, great honor to come and sign this uh, three agreements on behalf of my government, together with Honorable Minister Chinamasa, uh, representative of the uh, government of the Republic of Zimbabwe. At this uh, uh, juncture of Zimbabwe's social and economic development, as uh, Zimbabwe's uh, all-weather friend, the Chinese government has been committed, just like the special envoy who came very, uh, uh, a couple of days ago actually, uh, who said that China is going to continue committed to assist our good friend and brother in its development through thick and thin ever since the Zimbabwe's liberation struggle. We have a very good traditional friendship, we want to strengthen this good relationship and uh, expanding our cooperation in all the sectors. The equipment we are going to sign today uh, will facilitate a total of 1.45 billion RMB, uh, which is approximately 213 US dollar, 230 million US dollar, found to the construction of some key projects in Zimbabwe. 300 million, 300 million RMB uh, will go to the building of the new parliament, which is a grant from the Chinese government. And uh, I recently visited at the construction site, I found the road linking the downtown to the uh, construction site uh, is there now. And uh, water, electricity up on the hill, the construction site is up on the hill. Uh, but also there, I don't know whether they're enough or not. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think we have made uh, a good job in the preliminary work, and we hope <coughs> the real construction could start as early as possible, maybe next year before the dressing. Another 100 million uh, is going to uh, <coughs> the HPC, which is a high performance computing center. Uh, the first uh, phrase, this, it's also a grant, huh? 
the first phase of this uh, HPC has enabled Zimbabwe to become the third <coughs> fastest uh, computing center in African countries. I hope by adding another 100 million RMB uh, to build the second half uh, or phase two, uh, the HPC here in Zimbabwe could become or could further upgrade its speeding uh, to deal with all those uh, uh, data uh, to increase the government's capacity uh, to deal with all the data in a wide range uh, sector. The third one, third equipment, is a concessional loan, uh, which we which has uh, the RMB 105 1 billion, 1.05 billion RMB. And uh, this will be uh, a financial support to upgrade the airport, the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport here in Harare. Uh, it's a concessional loan, and, and uh, we are. What we're going to sign today is a framework. Uh, it's a framework agreement. So, the Chinese government will continue <coughs> to support the Zimbabwe government and the people in their economic revival and the social development. The agreement we are going to sign today is just a, a testimony of our efforts and our friendship that withstand the test of time. I think more deals will be signed. With this, I thank you. Thank you, uh, the new ministers. Uh, we have recently been appointed and who are here with us today. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, Honorable S.B. Moyo, Minister July Moyo, Minister of Local Government, Public Works and National Housing. The Parliament building is the responsibility of the Ministry of Public Works, which, is, which explains why Minister July Moyo is here with us. And of course, Minister Moyo, because everything that we do with external governments is to pass through foreign affairs. I also want to acknowledge the presence of Professor Murwira, Minister of Higher Education, Science and Technology. The grant that we are going to sign is to do with the High Performance Computer Center, which is located at USET. And it is in that regard that Minister Murwira is here. I also want to acknowledge my deputy, uh, Honorable Mukupe, uh, the acting clerk of parliament, Ms. Helen Tingani, you are most welcome. And of course, Your Excellency, thank you very much for coming, commercial councillor, and all my good friends at the Chinese Embassy. Members of the press, I acknowledge your presence. Today marks a historic occasion between the government of Zimbabwe and the government of the People's Republic of China as we witness the signing of the following three agreements. A 1.05 billion renminbi framework agreement for the concessional loan agreement for the expansion and upgrading of the Robert Mugabe International Airport. Then a grant of 300 million renminbi, which is in terms of the economic and technical cooperation agreement for the new parliament building, which we are going to put up in Mount Hunter. And another grant of 100 million renminbi, this is for the high performance computer center, which I said is at usage. The government of the People's Republic of China has given us much needed support as a people during the liberation struggle and on attainment of our independence 
we elevated the level of cooperation to economic affairs, economic issues. It is this relationship that we are all gathered this morning to witness. Let me also hasten to say that Zimbabwe has in the past received support from the People's Republic of China targeting various projects in the area of education, agriculture, energy, transport, and communication. And we remain thankful for that support. Also, the government of People's Republic of China in today's agreements is extending two grants amounting to 400 million renminbi towards the construction of the new parliament building in Mount Dampton and also towards the high performance computing center phase two at the University of Zimbabwe and also other projects that may be determined by the government of Zimbabwe. As you may be aware, this support comes from the state visit by His Excellency <coughs> President Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China on 1st December 2015, where he pledged to support the construction of a new parliament building. The new parliament building will accommodate 650 members. We are not that many, but it gives room if our population should increase to that of China. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and with room for expansion. Government on its part, we took responsibility that would to provide on-site infrastructure. That is access road, water and sewerage, and electricity. And I'm happy that we have since completed this infrastructure. Today we witness the government of the People's Republic of China's commitment to its promise. We are also going to witness the signing of a framework agreement on the concessional loan for the upgrading and expansion of the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport. This project, that is at the airport, entails the expansion of the terminal building, rehabilitation of the runway, insulation of the communication system, refurbishment of the fire station and installation of a new satellite station among other works. As you are all aware, we completed the Victoria Falls International Airport and it has seen a quantum leap in tourist arrivals in Victoria Falls to a point where hotels now don't have accommodation and they have to defer booking for three months. We want to replicate this for Harare and we believe that with the completion of this project we should see more arrivals, tourist arrivals into Harare, into Zimbabwe. The, this facility, the airport one, will be administered through the Export Import Bank of China. This is China Exim Bank, which is a government financial institution charged with the responsibility to manage facilities such as this on behalf of the People's Republic of China. The facility, that is the concession loan agreement, has the following terms and conditions. The loan amount, as I have mentioned, is 1.05 billion renminbi, which translates to something like 153 million US dollars. The interest rate is 2% per annum. And the term, <coughs> that is the duration, is 20 years, including seven years grace period. The extension of these facilities by the government of the People's Republic of China is testimony to the lasting friendship that exists between our two peoples and our two governments. I want to take this opportunity to extend our gratitude and appreciation to the government of the People's Republic of China through you, Mr. Ambassador, for the support that they've availed. And I want to take you on your weight that more deals are in the offing to be signed. I want to reiterate that the government of Zimbabwe 
remains committed to honoring its obligations to the government of the People's Republic of China, and I want to thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Minister. I think what we came for is the formal signing, which um, by the Honorable Minister. Second question to uh, Minister. Well, question, as I said in my opening remarks, China and Zimbabwe were very good friends, and uh, we will continue with our good friendship by expanding our cooperation in all the sectors. So uh, we will do what we, uh, we can to strengthen this uh, relationship and the cooperation. I think this is uh, uh, the results of President Xi's uh, visit in 2015. We're just implementing this uh, visiting results. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we can work together to open new doors, uh, new horizons <coughs> for further cooperation. Uh, lots of chances are there. I'm quite confident that uh, we can do a lot more together to benefit uh, both countries, our people, and country on both sides. Thank you. As you are aware, the two projects, uh, the new parliament building and the expansion of the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport are construction projects. So it is going to employ a lot of artisans, builders, not just in terms of employment, but also we are going to see sourcing of a lot of materials locally. Uh, and I look forward, basically, to the commencement of those projects with a view to enhancing employment creation in our country. Those projects will take some a year or two the duration will be long, so I can confidently say that employment will be created in those two projects in Zimbabwe. And I'm very grateful for this, the concessionary loan, as well as the grant for the new parliament building. Do we have the exact idea? figures, yeah. I think that uh, you wait until that is completed. Yeah. The contractors in, in, in both cases are Chinese companies. And it will be important for, it, for, for, for us, between us, to determine the Zimbabwe component of the workforce at both those construction sites. That is a matter that we will discuss with our Chinese, with the Chinese contractors. Leadership. Uh, I think so. I think so, <laughs> but, but you must know, of course, that uh, to negotiate agreements such as this takes time. In fact, uh, in both cases, we have been working on this since I became minister in 2013. <laughs> and they are now coming to fruition, which is a very positive thing indeed, that I'm able to sign what we started. So you need to understand, yes, it's the first agreements to be signed in the new administration, but the negotiations precede the new administration. So, Hi, Matthew Campbell from Bloomberg. I have a question for Minister. Carry comparisons, but let me say this, that at this point in time, China's economy is the second largest economy in the world, after the economy of the United States. And they've been registering phenomenal growth rates, up much above most, uh, most countries. They are running at 7 8%, and they've been doing so for the past 30 years. So it is a model that we should look to. And in any case, at this point in time, they are the only source of any infrastructure financing, not just in China, but in other countries also, but more particularly on the continent. If you look at any infrastructure projects that are taking place on our continent, the source of funding is China, no doubt about it. Whether they are talking about Ethiopia, you are talking about Kenya, you are talking about Zimbabwe, you are talking about DRC, you are talking about Cote d'Ivoire, the source of funding 
is China. So we look forward naturally to, to China in terms of our development path, and I'm sure that we have a lot to learn. As you know, they've been able to take out of poverty something like 300 million people. That is a feat that not many countries have been able to achieve. And for that, I think you have no choice but to look to them for guidance and for, for direction. No. Every 10 people out of poverty in the past uh, you know, two years, seven were from China. But uh, the Cariba South, uh -huh. which is around 600 million or thereabouts, is a, a loan from China Exim Bank. And that is to expand the Cariba South. And the first phase of the Cariba South is to be completed by end of December this year, and it will add 150 megawatts into the national grid. Then by end of March, they will complete the whole setup, which will add another 150 megawatts into the national grid. We also, maybe you can remember what other loans have been giving us. Well, the, uh, okay. Uh, actually, the China and Zimbabwe, uh, since the independence of uh, Zimbabwe, we provide uh, all sorts of uh, uh, loans and grants. And uh, the grant, we take the most part, a uh, large portion of the uh, economic assistance. And for interest free loans, we write it off by the end of 2015. That's around some 150,000 IMB. Uh, the other is uh, the, the, the financial institutions. Yeah, yeah that's, that's uh, I think the ministry got the figure. Yes. <laughs> For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.